Nikola Tesla in his patent 512340 describes his bifilar coil. And he has a drawing in it which shows the windings. But if you try to make the coil as he has drawn it, then it's going to be very difficult because the windings are next to each other. And it's pretty hard to do it that way. Tesla did state in his patent that you can also use uh, the same ID to wind it differently. So I did. I'll describe to you in this video how to do it easily. I used speaker wire and it's by filer. It's got two strands. If you wind a coil with speaker wire, you'll end up with two coils on top of each other with equal distance. The only thing then you have to do is connect them in series in that way that the magnetic field does not cancel. If you take a look at this cable, then you see that it's two next to each other. But when you turn it 90 degrees, it's thinner. That way you can easily wind it up and then you'll end up with something like this. This is actually two coils. This is one, and this is the other. And I'll be talking about the center coil. Actually, it's two coils on top of each other, as you can see, and they're just series connected. The top coil inside is connected to the bottom coil outside. That way the magnetic field is the same for both coils and the dielectric field is in between the windings. So it's in between on the plane of the coil and the magnetic field wraps around it. It's centered here and here and the dielectric field where the energy is stored in, in voltage is in between the windings. I'll now show you how to roll this wire and fixate it with a hot glue gun. It's really easy. We've got this roll of speaker wire, nice and thick, and you just take one end. You see the cable starts rolling one way already, so you use that. You just make a pretty large hole and you just have to find out what works best. And you can use a little bit of tape to connect it together. It's not necessary because you have to loosen it up in the end. Now you've got a little loop taped together. Just lay it down and you start winding, winding it, winding it, winding it. And this way you get a bifilar coil. Really easy, really fast and totally not hard. Every once in a while I like to tighten up the coil so all the windings are really snugly fit together. And then I'll use a little bit of hot glue. So I'm now tightening up the windings. They are tight. I flatten, the, flatten them out. Once it's nicely tied together and you, you flattened out the windings, you just take your hot glue gun and you apply it on top of the coil and you let it cool down and it's fixated. And then you proceed winding the coil until all the wire is done and you fixated it a little bit more on both sides 
and you end up with a nice speaker wire coil which has two coils on top of each other then the only thing you need to do is connect them in series like Tesla stated and you end up with a coil like this and uh, this is actually two coils as I said before uh, I'll just look at the inside coil and as you can see here is this is the series connection between both coils so one is on top and one is below and the top coil inner part is connected to the bottom coil outer part and this way the magnetic fields are the same the dielectric field now will be in between the top coil windings and the bottom coil windings because the voltage difference is equal between the top and the bottom layer if I put 100 volt here then that means that the middle of the winding the total winding is 50 volts and then the end of the winding is 0 volts what this means is the top coil is 100 to 50 volts and the bottom coil is 50 volts to 0 volts so by using speaker wire you can easily make a bifiler coil i hope you learned something thank you for watching and good luck with building your own bifiler coil with speaker wire the easy way.